Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black to celebrate this 4-1 win against Leeds United at home. A fantastic performance, probably the best home performance we've seen in a while, although I think I said that a couple of weeks ago. So it's, it's just showing that the progression and the consistency is starting to get rolling. And... Um, you know, with Nuno coming out in the press over the last couple of days saying that he wanted to see an improvement of the home performances, I think that was really shown today. Particularly in the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought the number of chances that we created was impressive. And the midfield, the way that they moved the ball forward. And Cavaliero, I thought, had a better start to a game than he did on Saturday against Reading. What also impressed me as well... To, today in comparison to Saturday's game was the movement off the ball, plays like Barry Douglas moving a little bit more to get in behind, um, whereas I think Vinagre is, waits for the ball to come to him and then moves, Douglas is more proactive in making space and things like that down the wing. Um, I do, I, the, both the first two goals were taken very very well, the free kick from Douglas, we've seen videos of him on YouTube taking those sort of free kicks and scoring goals from them. We'd seen a couple of free kicks that he's contributed uh, assists from, so it's great to see him scoring from a free kick as well. And then the second goal, good piece of individual skill from a Cavaliero to turn on the edge of the box. Andy Lonergan with Poppadom hands and letting him go. I think it was a poor effort from him, but 2-0 at half time is fair. If not, I mean, to, to criticise the team, I think it should have been more than two at, the, at half time and then the start of the second half we let Leeds back into the game a good finish from there um, I can't remember who it was their player but in that sort of time Leeds looked threatening but didn't really have many chances that looked dangerous and didn't really threaten us uh, and we managed to keep them at bay until uh, Ronaldo Vieira they're probably the best player on their night uh, got sent off and then Wolves came into the game a lot more. Helder Costa coming on shortly after that red card, really, he's starting to look now close to his best. He's had a few weeks off and he's come back now and looks sharp. He had one jinking little run against Reading a couple of times today. He looked really, really dangerous, getting past the defenders and making things happen. And if I was Cavaliero, I'd be starting to worry about my place in the team now. And hopefully, that sort of competition between those two is going to raise their performances. So that's something to look forward to. Costa then, of course, uh, <clears throat> scoring the penalty for the fourth goal as well. And uh, I'm just trying to remember the third goal off the top of my head. I'm trying to do this in one take. I can't remember the third goal at the moment who scored it. Oh, Jota. Fantastic finish from Jota. A little dinked finish over the uh, goalkeeper. I thought he was going to really slam it home, but a really uh, cool, calm finish to just chip it over the goalkeeper really calmly. And then the penalty, Bonatini had got in through on goal and Lonergan had taken him uh, and allowed Costa to take the penalty to uh, get Rabi's first goal of the season, his first goal back since his injury and he's, it must be his first goal since March or April or something I'll have to check that uh, but yeah fantastic performance really controlled the game again barring that sort of 15 minute spell at the start of the second half where Leeds came into it a little bit more they didn't offer much at all um, and we move on to the next two games now against Bolton and Birmingham two games where really we should be picking up six points and the only thing that's going to let us down is complacency so hopefully we'll go into those two games building on the back of this great run of form that we've been on, extend our lead further at the top of the table and start to mount a serious promotion push now over the Christmas period. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the ashes if you're watching them. Cheerio.